I lost myself and I hardly even realized until now. To tell my story, first we need to rewind. Before going to university, I took a gap year and this turned out to be one of the best decisions of my life. This was a year of focusing on myself, working on my mindset and developing some great habits that helped define me as a person. I started working out five times a week. I started doing yoga and meditation every day, hopping on cold showers and reading books that I never would have read before. And through all this, I was changing as a person. I was becoming more confident, I was getting stronger, and I was becoming more disciplined. Time is currently 6 a.m. Fast forward to August of 2022, and I moved all the way to Berlin to start studying at university. And this is when things started changing. The first few weeks, I focused on getting to know people in a typical university style, drinking and going out. It was fun, I won't lie. End of September 2022, and I actually got into a relationship. This turned out to be the first proper relationship of my life. Nothing to see here, just me being an absolute sim. I felt fucking great. At this so point, I genuinely felt pretty much what I thought was the happiest of my life. I didn't need to take studies too seriously. I was hanging out with friends most of the time, and I had a girlfriend to go home to. But there was something very important I was failing to realize that would eventually slap me across the face. At one point, I pretty much stopped going to the gym entirely. I hadn't done yoga or meditation for weeks. I hadn't even opened a book for so long. And I was only letting my mindset get weaker and weaker. I would sleep for longer, stop posting on YouTube, neglect friendships of mine. In essence, I had lost all the balance of my life and I was giving in to all of the short-term pleasure that I could find. For me, self-improvement has always been a momentum game. And once you stop doing certain things, it's even harder to pick them up again. And because of all this, my mental health was starting to take a toll. It was slowly eating away inside of me. I would feel emotional, I would crave my comfort zone even more, and I would just try and distract myself from all of these uncomfortable feelings. I was noticing I was losing gains. I was feeling so weak within my mind and I just was no longer happy. Fast forward to the new year and I realized enough is enough. I realized I wasn't where I wanted to be at this point. I lost so much confidence and I really had lost a big part of myself. And the only person I can blame for that is myself. I'm the one that stopped working out. I'm the, the one that stopped all these great habits that defined me. But the only person that can work to get things back is myself. I've stopped <laughs> having a victim mentality. I've stopped blaming people or circumstances around me for the way I feel. I'm now getting paid to create content for my university. I've joined an early stage startup and we're launching our product this Saturday. And now I am committing to posting on social media again. I already feel so much better within myself. I'm genuinely excited about life right now. And I'm just so excited to make up for time that I really feel like I've lost. If there is a lesson in all of this, it's that habits might be the most important thing to progress you in life and to keep you on track. Your mindset is a muscle and if you don't carry on training it, then you will lose it. And you need to consistently check within yourself if you're living a life true to yourself. But also, with all of that said, if you're not currently happy with where you're at in life, if you feel like you've gone off track, then maybe it's time to get back on track. Maybe it's time to start working your ass off Maybe it's time to make this year your year. Sure, New Year's resolutions were made before 2023, but it's still the start of the year. And I just made mine.